being uprooted can be killing. Literally in the case of trees, now there's an amazing story of the efforts of an NGO to give a second life to trees that have been uprooted. I'm talking about trees that are 150 years old, like banyan trees, 30-year-old people trees, and they're moving them as far as 1,000 kilometers to give them a second life. Umar Sudhi now reports on how an arid, rocky terrain has magically turned into a green paradise in record time. A long road to survival for 60 coconut trees that made their way from Karur district in Tamil Nadu to Mehbub Nagar district of Telangana. These coconut trees that would have got the axe back home will get a new lease of life here in their new home. This coconut tree has come from over 1000 kilometers away Karur district of Tamil Nadu. It has travelled all this distance so in tremendous trauma. It will be treated almost like a baby, we are told. A pit has been prepared specially with the nutrients on all the material that is required for its survival. For almost a month, it will be in bandage like the rest of these trees. And then afterwards, the new shoots coming out and a new life has to taken root once again. The 15-year-old tree has to recover from the trauma of being uprooted and live again. So every support is provided almost like in the sanitized environment inside the ICU after surgery, carefully bandaged with material, kept hydrated and aerated. Saravan and his convince, love and nurturing is the reason 80% of translocated trees survive here. That's an amazing record. Neem never surveyed the relocated. We done 75% success rate so last year. So we done Neem, Pungama Pinata, People Tree and Ficus Religiosa. Thousand plants, we did it. But one species, only one plant is dried. So that much of service, because the main thing is caring. Kanha Shantivanam, spread over 1,000 acres, is home to nearly 1,000 trees rescued from near and far. These include avenue trees more than 8 years old, some 15 banyan trees more than 150 years old from road widening projects along Tumkunta Highway outside Hyderabad. There are also 20, 25 to 50 year old people trees. When I saw the first banyan tree coming in, a giant tree with a huge canopy bigger than this, but shrunk to one fourth of the size. When you see it, it's like, oh my God, what happened to this? It's like you bring an old man who is you know, six feet tall and you are making one feet out of him and then, okay, now let's keep him in ICU and I'll let the organs grow. So that's something like that happened to my heart and I was, I, was, I sunk myself and said, I will not have these trees again. But then what to do? More and more trees were felling and then you, I was helpless in making this decision. Now if I have to bring them more, I, I don't have a heart to transport all these uh, trees. I think we need a better policy then. Just four years ago, this rocky land was almost barren. Over 1,20,000 saplings and trees belonging to as many as 675 species has dramatically transformed the microclimate. We do have um, enough studies now where we can correlate that the rainfall in this region has increased because of what we've been trying to do here. Anytime we hear about um, the government or any you know, private builder taking down trees, we, the minute we hear about it, we're excited. <laughs> Normally people hesitate to translocate, but I think it's a gift for us. I think it's a blessing for us. And um, I think it can, change, it can change the whole landscape. From a region that was perennially drought prone to one that saw rains fill up ponds last year with groundwater rising several feet all around. The magic of trees. In Mehbubnagar with camera person Nagraju, Uma Sudhir, NDTV.